the best way to practice gratitude is just to integrate it into everyday life, not to do something different or special or add to a list of already busy lives. You know, we have so many things we have to do on a daily basis. I think that's the mistake people often make is they add to an already busy list another thing to do, and that is to practice gratitude. So when that happens, it becomes more of a burden. It makes life worse and heavier and more difficult. Gratitude should make life lighter and easier and freer. So if we can have a practice that we can incorporate into our daily lives just by noticing things that are already happening around us, just by not taking things for granted, just by becoming more aware of benefits that we are receiving, looking at life like a gift, just using the language of gifts and givers and receivers, what I call trafficking in the language of thankfulness. You don't have to do anything special. You don't have to carve out any special time of the day. It just becomes very automatic and very habitual. And I think that's when gratitude will achieve its most power. When we're going through a, a challenging time or just a challenging occasion that we might get irritated or frustrated because life is full of those, right? There's little annoyances or hassles. So how can we see that as an opportunity to build a grateful response? Okay? And a really good way to do that is to think about beyond the moment, okay, what am I receiving at this moment in this time that I can see as a gift? The fact is that um, I can see that people are asking me questions, interested in me, want to hear what I have to say when I go give a talk somewhere. So I can see that as a stressful time or a time where I'm being evaluated or perceived, but I can also see it as an opportunity to share with them what I've learned. These are curious people that I'm grateful they come to my talk. I reframe how I think about that experience and it becomes much more of a, you know, I think a beneficial experience for both the speaker and the receiver, the audience, if we can reframe it that way.